All right, guys, what's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Yes, I know, the Celtics lost. Yep, the Warriors won. So big shout out to Steph Curry. He's a great, he's a phenomenal shooter. There'll probably never be another shooter like him in our time. So anyway, guys, let's get started with the video. And remember, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And uh, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, that's all I can say. Leave a, leave a comment down below. All right, so we did a little bit of shopping this weekend. Um, I had a tag along with me, my son's girlfriend's brother. So I wanted to make sure that I got that right. So he was tagging along with me. We had a good time, it was cool. Every now and then I'll bring like one of the little ones with me, one of the young bucks, and um, I'll try to teach them, you know, kind of what to pick up and what not to pick up, and they just kind of have fun, they kind of find stuff. He did find a pair of boots and, you know, just like a, an army jacket, and so he had fun. But anyway, we're going to get right into the video. we got a big box sitting right here. We're going to go through the box. There's a couple other things that are over there that I'm going to grab right now. All right, so these things are... These are on hangers. Let's do, we're just going to do a, a, this is going to be a haul video, obviously, guys. So, sorry about kind of getting out of the, I did pick some other things up. I don't know if I should show you guys this other stuff. Let me see what it is. Yeah, because then I did pick this up, and this up, and this up. This is a bunch of stuff that I didn't get on camera. That's old. I think I had already gotten that on camera. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, so let's get into the video. First things first, let's take a look at this little beauty that I found, um, I think it was yesterday, it was yesterday, it was right by the shop, well, I was shipping items, I think we shipped about 20 items out yesterday, I still have about another 20 to ship, alright, so this is the 6th generation iPod, it is an 80 gigabyte, um, really high gigabyte, anytime you guys find ones like this, this one right here is a home run, even if it doesn't work, I'll probably still get 50 bucks for it, just for the parts, um, I'll take it out, I'll show you what it looks like. It just is a monster. Um, it's a little, it looks a little, a little bad right there in the screen. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. I can probably still get a decent amount for parts. It doesn't look too bad on the back. It's not, it's a little dented. It's not perfect, but anyway, still a good find for $5. $140 item, guys, if you can find these in good condition. So in working good condition condition so that was a pretty i was pretty stoked about finding that one really stoked man and i think this was this was just a little yard sale that we hit up i think this is is this led zeppelin i think this is led zeppelin yeah because it's got the swan song on it this is a led zeppelin album let's see it's not in bad condition i do have a record player in here it does have a little scratch on it um, he said somebody had already looked at it and seen the scratch. Don't fret, guys. Sometimes there'll, there'll be, there can be a scratch on a record, and it doesn't mean that the record is not going to play. I paid $2 for this album. The name of the album is it is Led Zeppelin Presents. I'm not too familiar about this album. The guy did leave it, so I don't know if it's a valuable album. I didn't look it up yet, so this is obviously um, going to be a surprise for me so i'm just gonna i'll test this out later i did pick up some beatles albums also as well let's do let's throw it over there then we picked up this vest <clears throat> i got this for five bucks it's a big size it's an old navy i don't know if this is a down the lighting here is terrible guys let me see if i can move this around this is why i don't really like doing videos like this because of the light how about like this if i move it Probably if I use the light, this this is sitting on a ring light. If I was using the ring light, I might get a little bit better. Let me look and see if this is down or not. 
This is polyester, polyester, and polyester. So this is not a down vest. It is brand new with tags. I paid five for it. Um, I figured that, yeah, this is a 3XL, guys. So this is a big boy right here. So probably about $30 for that. I'm going to charge shipping on that also. So there you have it. Picked up a bunch of shorts. I'm going to take a look at some of those. Anytime I can get stuff like this, like Levi's, like this. If I can get them like really cheap, like these were cheap. This is a big size. These are a 24 waist, um, plastic shorts, mid-rise, easy through hip and thigh. These were brand new. I think I paid like two bucks for them. Like I, it wasn't that much. And then we did find some Lululemon. We did a little bit of thrifting. Also, I went into the Salvation Army. These were $3.99. So we got some Lululemons. Um, if you guys don't know this brand, you need to get to know this brand. These are actually like almost, I think these are athletic swimming, something like that. But here's what the logo looks like for you guys that don't know what the logo looks like. There's the logo right there. So we got one pair and we got two pairs. So there's another pair. There's the logo. Anytime I see that logo, I know I got to grab them. There's the logo. There you have it. Let's try to get through this video as quick as possible, guys. I don't want to bore you with all the, all the details. This is another brand. This is kind of like a, um, what are they called? They are the, the whatchamacallit jackets. They call these like racing jackets. That's basically what this is. Um, there's a brand. I, I, I can't believe I can't think of the name. What is the name of the brand? Um, uh, um, members only. I don't know why I couldn't think of that, but every now and then you have that brain fart, you know, it happens. So, um, I grabbed this up. This is Mirage. This is obviously made in USA. It's just another bomber racing jacket. So I should be able to get at least 30 for that. What did I pay for it? I paid, I paid six bucks for it. So somewhere between 25 and 30 for that jacket. Then of course we have the foot joy. Make sure you guys are picking up foot joy. This is a dry joy by foot joy. It is a large and it is just like a, it looks like hound's tooth. Yeah, this is a hound's tooth. That's what that pattern is called. If you look really close at the pattern, that's called hound's tooth. So this is a good pickup. This was, this was five bucks. I mean, when you can get these jackets for five hours, I know I can get 25 or more for that at least. And it should sell really fast. Then we have Hudson. These are Hudson men's jeans. Um, I know they do okay for women. Some of these brands are really starting to drop off. They're just, the prices are really starting to tank on some of these jeans. I think even Miss Me jeans, you're, you know, some of them don't really go for that much anymore either. So, but um, I, I didn't pay that much for them. So I found a Pendleton sweater. It was only a dollar. He was charging like a dollar for everything. So I was like, all right, let me just pick it up. It does have a couple stains on it. It does have a cool little Pendleton embroidery on the side it's kind of like golf or something you know just just an old school but what i didn't see that's right i didn't see that this guy wrote on the back of his stuff so that kind of kind of messes it up i'm probably not going to get nothing for that i might not even be able to list that okay big shout out to the birthday boys um my wife is home now she she went somewhere she got me some haagen -Dazs. it was delicious let's get back to the video we got Smokey Bear down here, my wonderful cat. What's going on, Smoke? He's just chilling. All right, so here we go. We got Shady. All right, so I thought this was really cool. I think I paid a dollar for this. Um, I'm not really sure how much it's worth. It does have the Shady right here, and I think it does have some more Shady. It has the Slim Shady Limited or whatever it is on there. It doesn't have really anything on the back. Um, it's just your basic denim jacket so i'm not really sure how much that is worth i think i paid a dollar for this i think she told me a quarter or 75 cents or something like that and i was like you know what it's brand new with tags i'll give you a dollar for it it's just a life is good if you can pick these up cheap enough they're worth picking they picking up they do sell but they don't sell for that much so we got a diversified portfolio for all you alkies out there that was pretty cool and then what brand was this? This is Authentic S Authentic Issue 90. I think it's a wool blend. So it's just a wool blend. We paid 
three dollars for that i think i paid like a total of ten dollars at this yard sale this is what is called a bird's eye pattern that's bird's eye so this is really cool for like um this is considered uh like you know like skiing stuff like that so we'll see how well it sells i haven't been, really been doing too well on sweaters but sweaters are obviously not going to sell right now all right so this is a west arc it's made in usa um, it kind of looks like one of those, it's just like an older jacket, probably from like the 80s or 90s. Um, it looks like, I'm trying to think of the name of the jackets. They do like the sports stuff. I'll think of it later. But anyway, it has a design. It has a design here, like an Aztec design here, there, and then at the bottom of the seam. I just thought it was just a really cool, has that Aztec design on it. So for $3, you know I had to jump on that and then we picked up this mecca this was at another yard sale that was a dollar um with the slim shady i picked that up along with that um i think i went through yep went through all of that okay so these are just some shorts that i need to resell i bought shorts for myself and they didn't fit it's a good thing about reselling you can always do stuff like that all right so these are these are heavy we're gonna have to let me make sure we got sure they don't fall off all right so i took a these are kind of like a long shot. I know they're Pennsylvania, um, but they're just like big, heavy iron trains. There's three of them. There's this one, and there's two more. Um, I think she said the caboose is missing, so it's definitely not a complete set. They're really heavy. I'm definitely going to charge shipping on those. Let's go over. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go through, guys. Maybe we should just kind of go through what we picked up, what we've been picking up lately. Because I didn't use the camera on these. Um, we picked this up. I think this was like a dollar. That'll just be stuff that I lay flat. I think this was a dollar. Also, these are women's. This is too, it's too big for my daughter. My daughter's like an extra small or, yeah, this clothing's making me itch. Is this Lady Gaga? I can't remember. True. This is Gwen Stefani. So this is just like a, just your basic tank top. Probably not worth too much, not worth that much. Then we got a bunch of Levi's. These are 550. I think these are all made. I think these are made in USA. I can tell right away when I see old Levi's. Always look for that big E right here because that is where the money's at. If you find the big E's, if you find the older ones and not the reproductions. Here's another pair of Levi's. I think these are X. No, these aren't double X. But I think some of these might be made in USA. I think I grabbed these because they were just in really good shape. These are, these are women's. Yeah, these are women's. These are a 12 medium. So these are just high-waisted kind of jeans that women are looking for. Unfortunately, there is a, a little bit of discoloration right there. So, yeah, that sucks. But it is what it is. Um, here's another pair. Another pair of Levi's. These are the same thing. These don't have the, the discoloration. I think if some of these are going to be the same... These ones are made in USA, and these ones are in better condition. So it's good that the ones that are made in USA are not in as bad condition. These ones are not, probably not made in USA. If you don't see the tag here, or you don't see it in the front here, or here, it's going to be in between. It'll be like on the side. It'll be, it'll be right along the seam of where the pocket is. So if it's not on one side, you can look on the other side, which is what we are going to do. And I think this pair, I just, it just doesn't have it. Okay, so unfortunately, we're not even going to know what size these are. I'm going to have to, probably the same size as the other ones. Yeah, these ones just say 517, the length is short. So we'll have to figure these out. And I'll just have to do regular measurements on them. If they're like a high waist, like a mid-rise, it doesn't matter. I can just measure the waist. It's When you start getting into like low-rise jeans, they don't sit on the waist. They sit on the hips. So they're kind of harder to deal with. These are women's also. Just a plain black pair. These usually do pretty well. All women have to have at least one pair of black jeans. These are made in USA. They're a little, a little dirty. But that's all coming off. Yeah, these are just a little. I gotta keep my cats out of here, even though that's like impossible. Cause there's one there and there's one there. They're both in here with me. Smokey and Mia. Mia. 
And these are made in USA also as well. These are a 577. All of them are 577s. I think that these were really cheap and that's the reason why I picked those up. So let's get into these. These were $10. Um, I believe I can probably get about, these are really dope too. They got the um, kind of like a patchwork. These are leather waterproof, water resistant, something like that. These ones are cool too. These are Timberlands also. They have the side zippers on them. These are just really dope. I don't think that's a pocket. I think that's just, you just kind of unzip them. Yeah, that's just kind of like a zipper. These ones I'm probably not going to get as much for, but those other ones are definitely going to sell probably for around $70, maybe a little less. It just depends. And then we did pick up a bunch of, these are all children's. These are like children's. Um, what size are they? They are like a waist. There are eight, something like that, I don't know. But they were all brand new with tags, so I wasn't gonna leave them, and they were really cheap. These are an eight Husky. H is Husky. So that's what these are. I think what I'm gonna do with those is, I think I'm gonna lock them up. Someone is definitely gonna jump on those. Here's another black pair. Um, these are women's, so these are Laura Scott's. Yeah, I think I pulled these out of a lot, and they were just really, really cheap, and that's the reason why I jumped on them. These are women's as well. These are Roebuck and Company. Those are leggings. So these are just regular, you know, nothing special, guys. I'm not going to get into every pair. Here's another pair of Roebuck. These are brand new as well. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lot most of those up. And these are probably an 8 Husky as well. These are also, these are all the same size. They're all 8 Husky. So guess what? These are probably going to be a hard size to get a hold of. For someone to find, you know, for a mother to find for their for her children. These are eight husky too. These are more of a raw denim. These are nice. And I think they're all 505s. I think they're all the same. They're all the same jean style. Some of them might be boot cut. These are 527. These are boot cut. These are an eight husky. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do with them. There's gotta be at least six pairs. There's five or six pairs. These are the same 550. These are an eight husky. So yeah, guys. Really cool. I got these really cheap, and that's why I picked them up. Probably like $2 a pair, maybe three. So, all right, so let's go and let's dig into this box, guys. Now it's time to see what we really, really picked up. Really cool stuff is in this box. So, I think the total that I spent was it yesterday? I think the total we spent was $80. So, $80 we did really well. Um, there, there's definitely some $50 items in here. Check out these Ed Hardy's. These are just really, really cool. They're really dope. They are, what size are these? These are a size 7. Low rise classic. Not really sure what these are worth, but these are really cool. So, throw them down there. Then we got a, another pair of Ed Hardy's. Check them out, guys. Now, these sell for, I think, about $50. So, there you go right there. And they're in very good condition. They were, like, hardly worn. There's not, there's not tons of wear on them. Suede, guys, when you clean suede, make sure you're using like a brush. You can use a brush to clean over top of suede. Look at the design on that. That's pretty cool. Not really my style, but... And plus, they're women's boots, so that's definitely not my style. And then, as we were leaving, I was like, you know what? I did kind of check this out. This is the anniversary edition. I'm going to put batteries in it, but the condition is flawless. Like, look at the bottom. The bottom of that is perfect. So let's put some batteries in. It still has the tester in the box. Like if you look inside the box, there's the tester in the back. So that probably needs batteries too. All right, guys. What do you say we throw some batteries in this mamma jamma? Because um, I think with the batteries, with the condition like this, this is the 50. What is this? Not 50. Um, this is the anniversary edition. I can't remember what... 20 year anniversary, something like that. What is the year on this thing? Let's see. Why am I asking you guys? You don't know. Probably on this part of the box. Hmm. 2006. So, probably like 96? 86? I don't know. 10 year anniversary? I don't even know. But um, I can't remember what it was worth, but it comes in that cool box. We're going to open it up. We're going to check it out. All right, guys, so in the process of cleaning it, um, cleaning this one out, this piece right here is just 
mat is just loose and it kind of broke off. Um, so even with the, the batteries all in it, it still was not functioning. It's not working. So Elmo is trash, which is one of the reasons why I hate buying electronics. I really don't like to deal with it. I'm just going to put the screws back on this some gun right here. Um, maybe the boxes were, maybe I could sell it for parts. Um, cosmetically, it's in really good shape, but you would have to change those pieces right out. And for somebody that wants to mess with it, you know, it's probably an easy fix. But for me, I just don't want to deal with it. I'll probably go right either right in the trash or you know, to the donation bin. So, like I said, I'm just not I'm not going to put the time into this. Where I think we're missing a bag. I think I'm missing missing a box or a bag because something has to take players right here. All right, so yeah, because I did have some other stuff. We did hit a yard sale that was close by yesterday, and I got these trucks. All right, so these were all a quarter. This one was a quarter. This is made. Let me see if I can tell you guys what it was made by. It's got some some grass on it. Obviously had some play, but just the colors were just fantastic on these pieces. So I had, I just had to grab them. I, I didn't know necessarily what their value was. Mm, excuse me. What is the name of, I can't even see it. Told you guys, I'm blind. Um, What does that say? It says Amloid, Amloid Company. So for a quarter, you can't beat that. Um, These are probably made in USA. You know, I'm. I'm guessing, so I picked this one up, put them over there, so I tried to clean those with alcohol, the Elmo, and it just wasn't happening, it didn't work, so you win some and you lose some guys, that's just the way it is, but I won't be eating any of this stuff, let me put these back over here, and we, this kind of broke off when I was trying to shove it in the bag out there. So this was also a quarter. This one is going to need cleaned up. This is Goodyear. Um, I don't know if it's made by Goodyear or if that's just what it says on the tires. It still has a little bit of grass in it because it was they were sitting on the lawn when I bought them. There's a little bit of there's some grass on the inside. I'm trying to clean them, guys. Sorry, I probably should have done this before I made... The video. Um, this is a Chia Pet. I paid three dollars for this one. This is the Flyers mascot. His name is Gritty, and this isn't really worth anything. So I don't see them selling. I don't. Yeah. So I just picked it up for three dollars, thinking that it might have some type of value, but it really doesn't. I might have to put this together with something. I did. I did grab some bobbleheads, so I think they're in here. All right. So. This is all stuff that I got at that ladies' yard, so I thought this was really cool. The graphics on this are just really dope. Um, it just says Disney on it. It doesn't say what brand it's made, who makes it. It just says Disney, so I don't know if this goes to a certain set, if there's supposed to be certain characters that fit inside. I don't know. Um, I'll probably just Google Lens it. If you guys are not Google Lensing, I don't know what you're doing. So that I will Google Lens later, and we'll check it out. All right, so this has all the tags on it. This is made by Coyote by Argo, made in USA. All right, so this was all the clothes that this lady had were really old. Um, they just, they weren't clean. They were dirty. And this was the only thing that I could find that was even worth picking up. I think she charged me like $2 for that. So the clothes in it were all dirty. I might want to hit that with some Febreze. And yeah, at least it's brand new with tags, made in USA. Then we have an original Walkman, which we're going to test out right now. I just threw a bunch of cassettes away, so I kind of had to go dig them out. This is really cool. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Um, did I pay for this? I think she charged me five, which I really didn't want to pay five for it because I, I know what happens every single time. They never work, so let's try it out. Let's put some batteries in it, and we'll go from there. Like I said, I did... Just go pull a tape out of the trash. I got tired of all them tapes just sitting around, and I just kind of threw some away. So, let's see. I'm sure the batteries that are in it are no good. I'll go ahead and throw them out. Well, at least there's no corrosion, so we know that it hasn't been sitting for too long. So, maybe it works. 
Not sure what the date is on this one. Is there a date? It might be under the clip. Let me look under the clip. Because on these you can take the clip off, but it's not under the clip. It's right here. We have Made in Malaysia. It's a WMF 2015. Is that the year? 2015? No, there's no way. That's the model number. There's no way that this was made in 2015. They're not making Walkmans no more. I'm pretty sure. And of course the tape player doesn't work. Cause it never does. Which means that the belt is off. But it does play. So I'm probably just gonna sell it. At least it's all original, has the original headphones. Um, hopefully I can at least get 15 out of it. If it's a good model, it is really loud. A lot of times some of the ones that are extremely loud, um, this part is really good. I think that it just has, the, the belt is either off or it's just corroded and not. So hopefully, I'll have to look at that later and I'll just deal with it again. But that's why I don't like buying electronics, as you guys can see. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure if this is made by Swiss Army. I'm going to have to look that symbol up. But some of these Swiss Armies go for really good money. This one has the toothpick. It has the tweezers. There's the tweezers and the toothpick on the side. I believe that this is an official Swiss Army knife. I think that that's what that symbol is. Um, and if it is an, an original Swiss Army, then it's actually worth a few dollars. Um, I think I paid a dollar for it. But like I said, I think I paid 80 for everything. So we got a, it was a really good deal. All right, so we did get a couple, couple more knives. We got this one and this one. I can't remember what this one is called. This one is a black cougar, black leopard. I'm sorry, but... This piece is broken. It doesn't stay, so the lock doesn't work on this one. I don't not really sure why it doesn't work. But um, these do sell for about $50. So if it wasn't broken, it, I'd probably get about $50 for it. But since it's the piece is broke, this is a really heavy, this is a good knife. I knew that there was something about this. It looked a little bit older and it just looked like it was worth and I, I actually looked it up. Stainless steel made in Korea. So I should probably get about 20 bucks for this knife. And I thought this one was cool. Um, I was I was only going to grab them if I was going to get them for the right price. This one says Wild Ride. And got the little knife on the inside. And it's got the girl on the knife. And I just figured I could probably get a few bucks for this. There's nothing special about it. But Then we have your typical guest watch. This one is a chronograph. Whenever you see those little three I don't know if it's a working chronograph but you can always find the date on guest watches there's always going to be a date it's going to say guess on the back it's going to have the little you know the triangle symbol and then it'll have the date this one is I'll tell you right now this one is this one's a little bit older actually 91 so this one is an older one right here so this one might be worth a little bit more it has a nice little leopard band i'm going to pop it open and put a battery in it at the shop and if it works um we should get about 30 dollars for these i haven't sold a watch in a long time like these are just watches are tough they're really hard to sell so whatever all right we got some belt buckles and i picked this knife up um i think he gave both of them to me for like a couple bucks like five bucks i thought this one was really cool um, it's got a really nice blade on it. This is really, really dope. Just a cool knife. It's got the U.S. Um, it's probably going to sell because um, it's going to be the 4th of July coming up. And I got the original box for it. So we'll just go ahead and throw it in the box and shut it. It is made by BUDK. I don't know what that brand is. The, Elite, the Eagle Legend Traditional Collection. So whatever 2004 so it's almost vintage so you know whatever and we have zigzag this is really cool that's awesome that's for anybody that is a smoker anyone that's a toker a smoker toker midnight toker whatever um the steve miller band said but i think we should do okay on that belt buckle i thought that one was cool and i paid like two dollars for all of them like 
I paid under a dollar a piece, I think. This one says American Revolution Bicentennial. So this is obviously from 1976. This is about as old as me. It is as old as me. Okay, because I am a 76 baby. Then we have Remington Country. Really cool. Belt buckle. We can find a date on this. It says Bugling Elk, something like that. Really cool. I didn't look it up. I just knew that if it says Remington on it, that it's probably worth something. It's definitely older. Um, sometimes they look old and they're not. So you got to look on them and see if you can find a date. This one is 1986, so this one does have some age to it. Not super old, but it's not new either. All right, and then we picked up this. This is the anniversary, the 50th, 50th birthday collector's edition, Mr. Potato Head. Now, this sells for about $50. I think that there's an original Potato Head in here also as well. Um, this is what he looks like. He comes and he has a stand. He's just the old original Potato Head. That's what it looked like in the beginning, and then they kind of just took the spuds away and just made him regular. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably lock this all together because my grandkids have plenty of Mr. Potato Head stuff they don't really need anymore. So pretty cool. All right, and then here was the winners. We got some Birkenstocks. These are just, are these even real leather? I don't even know if they're leather or not. They're definitely Birkenstocks. Hopefully they're real. Um, they say Papilio made by Birkenstock. Um, so I don't know. I know they're Birks. They're in good shape. I already did the bend on them. They're really tough and made really well. Um, I don't know if they're new. I'm going to sell them like new because they pretty much are brand new. Um, these, I don't even know what these ones are worth. I know that they sell really fast and they're really hard to find. And the thrift stores are pricing them up. Oops. So there's one pair. One pair of Burks, and then we found another pair of Burks. These ones are the Batulia licensed by Birkenstocks. Okay, so then here's another pair. These are just the triple strap. I think I just sold, I sold a red pair like these, but they're just in really bad condition and they didn't sell for much. Um, these are going to sell for more, probably 40 or more. So not bad there. So I'm going to get my money back probably on both of those Birkenstocks and the rest will just be profit basically, which is a bunch of stuff. So we did find another pair of Levi's. I think these are made in USA. These ones are made in USA. These are a 550, 565. There are five medium. So we got another pair of Levi's jeans, another pair of women's. Women's jeans do sell for me. I do sell them all the time. Then we have, we got a couple more knives and another belt buckle. Check this one out. I forgot about this one. This one is a World War II veteran victory and proud of it. Not sure how old this one is. Let me look at the date on it. I probably can find the maker of it. It might be American belt buckle. Copyright 1988, made in USA. I think, yeah, this is the great American belt buckle. That's who this is made by. They make, this is pretty cool. Anyone that is a World War um, II veteran. So I think that's really cool. I don't know what it's worth. I think I said it was 88, something like that. And then this knife, I just had a feeling that this would be, um, that this would have some value. This is a Ridge Runner stainless steel. I don't know, but this is just a really nice knife. Um, some knives tend to sell very well. This one has a really good lock on it too. So this one is a flick knife where you just, you kind of just flick it out. It has that piece right there. But really nice knife. You gotta be careful with knives. Then we have another knife. This one was another one that I had a really good feeling about. It just has a really cool design on it. This is another flick knife where you can just kind of flick them out. Um, make sure that this one's not broken too. Um, what does this one say? This one has a name on it also. Let's see. It says TW106 stainless steel, handcrafted in China. This one's a timber wolf. So, yeah, some of these knives can be pretty valuable, guys. Like, I might have an $80 not, not, um, knife, knife, whatever. And I won't even know. But anyway, yeah, we did pretty good at this sale. I told the guy, he's a clean out. He does a lot of clean outs. And I told him to hit me up when he... Um, finds more stuff. So then we just have some boring clothes. 
These are these are Alice. See, I don't know. These are Alice in Wonderland, like just really weird. <laughs> but I thought they had a really cool design. They're made by Disney, so anything that's Disney, I don't know if these were bought in the Disney store. These are what are they, Colin? Something. Through the Looking Glass Designer Collection by who? What does that say? Colleen. Colleen something. I, I don't know. I can't see it. It's, and it's in handwriting. like It's in like cursive, you know, and I can't read it. So I can read hand. I can obviously read cursive handwriting, just none of that. Okay. And then these are something else. I had no idea. I've never seen. These are made in USA. These are Doc Martin pants. I've never seen a pair of Doc Martin big baggy. Somebody is definitely going to want these. They have the airwear Doc Martin symbol on the back. I don't know if they're bootleg. I don't know if they're authentic. Um, this is what the tag looks like. It just says DMs, Doc Martens, um, made in USA on the tag. So hopefully these are authentic. They're really cool. They're baggy. They got huge pockets. So these are definitely skater Um these are definitely have some value, but like I said, I don't know how much, I don't know what the value is on them. I didn't look them up. I just figured it's a no brainer when you're, when you guys are sourcing like this and you go somewhere and you can make a pile, when you see stuff like that, you need to grab it. There was a lot of stuff that I did leave that I didn't really want to leave. These are cool. The zipper goes, there's two zippers on the pocket. It kind of goes back and forth. So these are, these are Moda, right? There was a lot of Moda International. I grabbed this because I just thought it was just a really cool, like cute little skirt. Maybe 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Not a great brand. Then we have these Buttonfly Calvin Klein Made in USA. There you go, Made in USA. It's got the big old tag on the back. These are just really cool cutoffs. There's one little spot, like there is some light stains. There's a stain. In the middle, there's a little stain on the pocket. There's like some stains on them, but they're not that bad. Made in USA, I should get at least $30 for them. Then we did get some records. We'll go over them in a minute. Um, starting to get like itchy from all this dust and stuff. But all right, so I wasn't going to leave them. I wasn't sure if I was going to grab them or not. But I was like, you know what? Since I'm already making a pile with all this stuff with the shoes and I was like, you know what, let me just grab them. There was a lot of new shoes too, but they were like, they just weren't the kind of shoes that I thought that I should pick up. They were like women's high heels. Um, they weren't good brands. So we got these Tommy Hill figures. These are really cool. They're just like bright red, probably like baggy high rise. They are a size 12. They're not made in USA. It's really hard to find Tommy made in USA, but it is what it is. And I thought that these were really cool. It says Lady, these, this is a Nietzsche. So we got some Lady and Nietzsche, brand new with tags, really cool. This is just a skirt, like a jumper. I think this is, this is called a jumper. Just really cool. It has lace on the side. Um, there was no way I was gonna leave that. Um, I have to be able to get at least 30 bucks for that, being that it's brand new. Then we did pick up the Tommy bucket. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger bucket hat, and it is vintage. It does have the flag logo on it. All right, guys, we're almost done. Um, I did see some, some Harley. What size is this? This is a size six. Of course, I had to pick that up. It's just a cute little Harley um, hoodie for a young girl. That's size six. This is, this one is a 4T, so this one's definitely a little bit younger. Just a cute little Harley Davidson. Pretty nice. So, we'll see. And last but not least, we did get some records. All right, guys, so last but not least, we did pick up these records. So, we got this Frank Zappa. I'm going to have to test these records out. We do have the other ones, but then we have Robert Plant. And the rest are Beatles. So we have these three um, Beatles albums. They're not in the best condition. They're kind of rough. Um, I'm going to test them out and make sure they play and they don't skip. And we'll go from there. And if they play, they play. Um, like I said, the condition is not great. I don't know what these albums are worth, but I only paid two bucks a piece. 
Um, she wanted to charge me five, and I said, well, the condition is just not there. Um, I can't pay five for them. And she's like, well, how about two? I was like, I'll do two apiece. So two, four, six. I paid eight dollars for all of them. I'm pretty sure the Frank Zappa record's got to be worth at least 25 bucks. I was looking them up. Um, some of the ones that are more colorful like that, I, I was seeing that they, I don't think that's the reason why they're worth what they are. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just figured I would do a whole video. It was definitely interrupted several times. Today was a busy day. People are running in and out. People are trying to video chat me, everything. So it's time to go and be with the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of my 381 subscribers. Peace out.